So we lost the first episode, but who knows? Uh, hopefully today goes better. And without further ado, I will do the loser's wheel. So we get 15 tournament packs. Alrighty, I will be right back with those packs. Here we are for the actual pack opening. I have already turned the sound off, so we'll blow your eardrums out. And to start things off, we have Rise of the Duelist. Next up, we have Dimension of Chaos. For our third pack, we have Dragons of Legends, and finally we have Ooh, a Legendary Duelist set, White Dragon Abyss. So those are our sets, and I will be right back with the pack opening. So I got sitting down to record my stuff today, and apparently I uh, really hurt Sam's feelings enough to the point that he's issuing me a court order for to not play Eldritch. Uh Apparently the plan brings forth the following cases, actions, and allegations. Plaintiff is individually a resident of, well, obviously we're leaving this out for y'all. And, you know, you know, I'm formed under the law in Georgia. We all know that. In the hit series, the budget progression series, the defendant's channel, Mr. Omega, discourse, courteously used the archetype referred to as Eldritch from the popular playing card game known as Yu-Gi-Oh! An online platform against my client, Mr. Lemus. And then he has the deck down here. Uh, this is a clear act of wanton, deliberate, direct violence towards my client, and it will not be tolerated. Due to Mr. Omega's clear attacks on my client, we will be ordering that your honor limit the use of the Eldritch deck, Evidence A, in the budget progression series to give my client a fighting chance. We hope that your honor will see reason and allow the series to be the best it can be. So Sam is essentially put on notice that I can't use <laughs> Eldritch every single week. Now, to be fair, I didn't plan on it anyways, but it's the humors of the fact that he would send something like this to me. Now, real talk, we obviously all know that this is kind of like, we just like to have fun around here. But uh, real talk, no, uh, we did win last episode with Eldritch. Uh, and... I did not plan on bringing Eldritch every single week because it would legit not be fun to see the same deck every single week. So, I'm not. But, it's episode two of season two. So, here we are now in the winner's circle. We have implemented the start of the challenge wheel as well starting this episode. Now, I personally am not partaking of that challenge wheel this episode. However, I don't know if Sam is taking it at all because obviously with winning and stuff, his stuff goes first before mine. So we have implemented a deal between he and I, a gentleman's agreement type situation that should somebody go on a three week tear, kind of like he did, or well, we both did in season one at some point you are forced to spin the challenge wheel because there's some pretty nifty stuff on there. So if he goes for the challenge wheel this episode, nice, good on him. I'm not. I'm just going to spin my regular old winner's circle wheel and see what we get from it. I'm kind of hoping for one of the, this half of the budget. And, oh, ah, uh, well, I'll take 30 extra dollars. That gives me 180. So, I mean... Anyways, now on to our marvelous packs. And I just realized that 
I forgot to delete these off of here because of what we spent last week. Even though I could have swore I did, but don't want those being spun. Uh, did I not get circuit cylinders already? There it is, bam. Go ahead and save it just to make sure. Give them a nice shuffle before we actually spin. All right. Let's see what we get here this episode. But I'm looking forward to season two. Like, I have a lot of ideas in mind and such. So, Dragons of Legend, that is the first one. My choice. You know, I just remembered I've been talking and this has not been here again. I did the exact same thing on stream the other day. Cross Souls. Do, 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 do. Clash of Rebellion. And then last but certainly not least. King's Court. Now, funny enough, Sam spun King's Court last season and brought something good out of it and i kind of wanted it as well so we are going to look at everything and uh we're going to go from there so i will see y'all in a bit with my pack openings so for my uh tournament packs i've decided to open 15 ots tournament pack 2. Wow, um, okay, we managed to pull the United We Stand, I don't know why I said managed because I wasn't really going for it, but whatever. Um, other than that, we pulled a single Kaiju, which is kind of annoying, but uh, it is what it is. Hopefully we get some stuff in our actual packs that can help us out this episode. So I'll save that, and I will be right back for the actual pack spinning. Here we are for the actual pack opening. This is the breakdown of the packs. We'll be opening 24 Rise of the Duelist and Dimension of Chaos packs, respectively. Uh, three Dragons of Legend packs, and 18 White Dragon Abyss packs. So without further ado, let's get into the Rise of Duelist opening. Okay, uh, let's see what we got here. Um, man. No flirtily, but we managed to pull Ecclesia and the Field Spell and Punishment, which is good. So, you know, I'll take it, I guess. Next up is 24 packs of Dimension of Chaos. Okay, uh, let me see what we got here. So, we managed to pull two Kirin, which 
I'm not sure if you can even make that in Magic Specters. I have to. Uh, wouldn't really make sense, but anyway. Uh, pulled four of these, three of these. Um, give me one second, actually. All right, sorry about that. And yeah, let me save this to the collection and this as well because I forgot. Close that. Close that. So I can close these as well because I don't need them anymore. So next up, we will be opening the uh, three packs of Dragons of Legend. I mean, it could be worse. Lastly, we will be opening 18 packs of the Legendary Duelist White Dragon Abyss. Not a terrible opening. Uh, so, without further ado, I will see you in deck building. So before I actually get into my pulls, I want to actually talk about selling and the new thing that we are doing with this. I didn't explain this to Sam as I've actually been selling cards because I'm getting out of the game physically. So what we are going to start doing now is going off of the lowest verified price. This is what sellers and buyers use in terms of actually buying stuff because the market price is not really it's more of an average combined of everything so this is what we're going to start doing so i'm selling off one of my golden lords because i pulled four last episode and i only need three thus meaning is why we are actually going to be selling one that's going to give us an extra 41 dollars since we're still doing the 50 percent that brings my whole total up to this episode 220 dollars to spend Going into this, Dragons of Legend, I'm actually kind of keen on this, but the only issue is a lot of stuff that's in this set only goes good with what's in other sets. Like, you have Tamias and all of his cards. You need Dark Magician, Dark Magician Girl to actually play it. A uh, couple of cool cards that we can get is Soul Charge is good. Air's Rock Sunrise, Double O Passe. Mathematician. A lot of decent cards, but it's not really anything that I can actually use. The Fire and Ice Hands would actually be great. Can splash in just about anything. So I am opening a full box of those to try to kind of get like a full, like a play set of the Fire and Ice Hands. Maybe a Soul Charge and stuff. Cross Souls, I'm not keen on. I'm not even keen on like most of it. I am, however, going to be spending... Uh... I'd say, yeah, I'm just I'm actually going to be opening thirty thirty dollars worth of it, so twelve packs. I was going I was actually thinking about changing my mind again. I've done actually tried to record this once and actually decided I wanted to change my mind by doing something, but I'm sticking with what I'm doing. I don't want to change again. One thing I did want to try to pull out of this is tell mine. That's really the only card I care about pulling out of this because going forward they can actually really help just about anything. We have Galaxy Cyclones out the wazoo. Unexpected Dial. We can actually pull it in another set that's in this. Jaw of Avarice would be nice. And lose one turn is great as well. Because you know how we are. But the main things I want out of this is Abyss Stone Grain, Statue of Anguish Pattern. Since we have a lot of those trap-based stuff. And if I have a go back on Elledge again. At some point in time. Yes, I know. I got the whole agreement thing. It's gentleman's agreement that I will not play it every single episode. But, if I need to whip Sam in the shape, it's there. <laughs> uh, these are actually good in it as well, because you can actually, alongside your conquistadors and things like that, when they're summoned, uh, you can technically get dual pops with Anguish Path. Uh, Moon Mirror Shield is great. And then some UA stuff, but we're not going to really worry about that. Like I said, we're opening 12 packs. Here's my money set, I guess you can say, this episode, because... I have a strategy in mind that I want, and it actually involves a bunch of cards that are in this. So in Clash of Rebellions, a lot of the stuff is further along from the previous set, which I think this is the first time we've actually had a set that goes in sequential order. We have the Perform Mages. We have Red Eye Support. We have Ignites, whatever. I don't care about Ignites. I'm actually caring about the Row Mages. Now, if I can get some aroma stuff i'm probably gonna go on plants for a little bit because i do have a pretty good plant-based core 
from the previous thing with the Rikas. Now, Perform Ages will be great. The only issue is I won't, I would want uh, Thousand Blades and things like that to do clown bait shenanigans. But, you know, Brilliant Fusion is good. This is actually a really fun card to run. Bubble Barrier, eh, whatever. Red Eyes Fusion, real good chase card in more or less not a construct like a constructed but not in a sealed type format backup rider great card wavering eyes and chicken game both really great cards and then the winds and the storm mirror, mirror force honestly if we pull some chicken games that's probably gonna be like limited or banned now the way i broke this down is i'm actually spending 90 dollars, and the way this breaks down is that i'm pulling a full box a half a box and a collectors like the special edition because i want an ultima ultima to zulkin to go with my set and stuff if i forget start getting some good synchros and stuff i can start cheating out with ultima to zulkin because a lot of stuff it can be cheated out pretty well i'm also picking up the engraver of the mark from the special edition then last but not least ultimately at first i was going to focus heavily on this from king's court and pull actually 48 packs of it because i wanted to try to like twist some uh, poker night shenanigans i decided against that when i figured out that in clash of rebellions aroma was in it so we're only going to be opening a box up to this as this has some decent stuff that we can use the only thing is is that for the what i have planned now it kind of counterbalances some of the things i want to do uh because i want to focus more on getting stuff out of and like i said there's the unexpected die <laughs> we could get a lightning storm that's kind of why I wanted to focus a lot on this. Rivalry would be good as well if we actually end up with the plants because that can be a good side deck option. So that's kind of what we have. Granted, it is quote unquote limited in our format because of what we decided with the uh, packs and stuff like that. So without further ado, we have our 99 packs. Let's get this montage going and I'll see y'all in a bit. You know, I'm not too excited about this uh, because I don't think I pulled like hardly any of the Roma stuff I needed. Uh, like just looking through it, I don't think I pulled any of uh, Jasmine or, you know, I'll have to look at everything. Hopefully we got something good. We at least got a Storming Mirror Force. We got a good bit of the Trick Clown stuff and Balance of Judgment. That's a, those are decent cards. 
uh, the statues and the Abyss Stungray, we got the play sets of each of those. I know we got like three Moon Mirror Shields, or at least two. We got two Soul Chargers, even though it's limited. And uh, I know we got two Lightning Storms, which is a huge pickup out of this uh, week. Overall, I'm, I'm not too keen on this. But, you know, we beggars can't be choosers, but it is what it is. We'll save it to our collection, get everything into deck editing, and we'll go from there. And I will see y'all on my deck screen. Give me a second. So here is the deck. Um, it's very bad. I'm not going to go card by card. It's basically just Chaos Max Dogmatica Pile. Uh, the entire action deck is almost exclusively punishment targets so uh yeah that's it and i will see you in the duel so after really looking through some a lot of my stuff and everything i didn't get really get aromas i got literally that's all i got just saying <clears throat> anyways so what i have decided to do is attempt now I kind of somewhat know how to play this deck I'm not the best at it but I understand the fact that it's more of you get effects when they get tributed and things like that so that's why we have pretty much built around tributing our monsters and stuff uh, Titanial is a great monster in this deck for the simple fact that it's an Omni Negate not once per turn Tribute a plant, negate. And Rika's like to be tributed for stuff, so that's what they send for. Run one, uh, Talia. Uh, just gets 100 attack for each plant monster, and other plant monsters on the field can't be destroyed by card effects. It's a really good, like, combination to kind of just have out there. Uh, we only have one Hellbore, so with, we only are running one of her. Uh, the other Rika's, it's just more or less, I... Put in what I had because, as you can see, I got one. Uh, Lone Fire, you, I can pretty much summon half the deck. Rose Lover, Banish it, summons as well. Petal is uh, is is in here. It's can literally, you know, special summon itself. We got the one Storm Mirror Force that we pull. Of course, we got our two Lightning Storms, our Feather Duster, Glamour. Ideally, I wish I would have a couple more, but it I got what I have. Tranquility, they won't normally a lot of the deck profiles I looked up, they'll run this at one. I'm running it at three because I feel like it's a lot better at three. Uh, you can basically tag out one of your it's a free we're born for Rika's, but if you are to tribute a mon a plant, you can summon two. So you can basically get two of your uh, monsters out on the field, help it dodge uh instructions uh, like destruction, things like that. Sheet is like a negate or a snatch steal if it's uh, you tribute. Ring, spot removal. Uh, more negates. Our draw power. We're not making this. It's just in there. I thought about running a tuner just to make it, but eh, too cloggy. Our XCs are just generic whatever we got. Side deck, it's more or less this is just if I need to tag into this. It can be more of a less that if he's spot removing stuff and or if I'm spot if I, I can spot remove something on my end and then pop stuff on his side of the field. Oracle Mahad is mostly here if he's on like a dark type deck. I can get a free special summon off of it and actually power over it. Aroma Jar is there for stunning. Balance Judgment for draws. Literary Last is a battle trick. Double Passe! is another battle trick and then rivalry to kind of uh keep up with his like board if he's doing like multiple types and stuff that's why it's only in the side but uh yeah overall i feel like this is why I, of what i have right now that's not eldridge this is like the best thing that i have because my other option was like before mage burn yeah i come up with a pretty good before mage burn strategy but uh yeah let's just see what this can do and well we are really hitting hard after our not being able to use outlet <laughs>
And I know I want to keep saying that. But really, guys, we're going to get into this duel, and it's time to duel. And here we are! Season 2, Episode 2, Episode 22 overall. Sam. Mm -hmm. Are you happy with your pulls this week? Uh, for the most part, yeah. That's good, that's good. I'm just going to ready up here. Uh, so so you decide you decide to uh, go go through the court system to make sure I don't play Eldritch every week. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, I'm gonna go first. Um. Well. Uh. I will set to three. Set. Go. And all the cars are there. I mean, well, somebody's still playing their extra from their Tomb Chaos. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's fine. That is unfortunate. To a normal summon, Dogmatica Ecclesia the Virtuous. Why? 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 Okay. Wait, their effect. Um. And you want to complain about me playing Eldritch? <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> I'm just um... saying. I'm going to add a copy of Dogmatica Theo. Okay. Then I will attack your face. <laughs> Rikas. Okay. Yeah, I'm on the Rikas today, okay. I guess. Son of a bean dip burrito! Go. It makes you feel any better. I kind of break too. Uh, no, normal summon the. <laughs> mm. Rico Tranquility. Oh, so you can also attribute. I was like, you don't have any play monsters to attribute. <laughs> I want to activate Rika Sheet. Yes, I do. Give me that. Aww. But why? Because I don't want you doing anything. I don't want you attacking me right now. Uh, <laughs> I get first damage. Yay! So, did you choose to do the challenge wheel or what? Uh, I did not. Me either. But I did let them know about the challenge wheel and all of that. Mm -hmm. And the whole if we if I go on a three uh three tear, then I automatically have to spin it. So, uh, okay. Yeah, I did let them know that. Very good. You fool! You attacked my rose lover! Okay. It's the lover of roses. Um, set this way, yeah. Uh, come on, give me a card I can use, please. Go. <laughs> I promise I have more monsters in this deck than spells and traps. I think, yeah. Your uh, back row is looking a little heavy there, so let me just clear it oh, up for you. Come on. No. But also, you... thank you. 
Um, what, what do you want to summon? I think I'm going to summon an ultimate falcon if that's okay with you. Um, well, you see. What are you even playing? Is you got Dragon Shrine? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> I mean... Oh, I'm stupid. You know, reading is fun. I could have done something else just then. However, mm. okay, flurries. I like tranquility. Or it didn't let oh, because I didn't have to in the graveyard. The six. Oh, nice. Okay. I know, we can't be sure what battle. With... I know. Okay, um... Let me, let me read cards. I mean... Tomas can just bounce a card, that's about it. Uh... Is that a quick effect? No, it's not a quick effect. No, he's not, he's not up, ladies. <clears throat> oh, that that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah. 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 Um, no, play actually... ladies is the quick effect one. Potluck party. <laughs> what the heck is this? It's a very stupid card, <laughs> but I'm playing it anyway. No. Oh, come on. <sighs> Why would you do that? Why don't you say potluck party? This ain't potluck. What? You said potluck party. Yeah. It's Yam no, I'm, Yam I'm just reading the, the image. I wasn't reading the actual thing. <laughs> oh. Um okay. Well, I guess there's there's no point in uh, hiding anymore. I'm gonna activate Chaos Form. No, you're not. Oh, that wasn't very nice. <laughs> <sighs> this is fine. So somebody has blue eyes. Could also be playing the other. Uh, not with you. Ritual. What I'm saying is you have to have, like, either Blue Eyes or Arc Magician. Yeah. So. Mm. Check something. I seriously have only drawn three monsters. And I know there's more monsters in this thing. I'm just going to discard this one. Sorry. <laughs> Okay. 
get out of this one. I'll give you this one. Yeah, legit. I have more monsters than I do spells and traps than this. Like, what the fudge? <laughs> it happens. Um... Well... Hmm. Okay. I will still go first, I think. This is a much better hand. We're just going to start off with a simple set and pass my turn. Great. Activate Dragon Shrine. Send blue eyes. Or... No. No, you do not. What? No, you do not. I don't want. Oh, I should have waited. Oh well. He's okay. Hey, they flurries. Someone on fire. That be on fire. Hmm. How many on fire do you have? Someone titanium. Hello. But why? Why would you want to do that? Because it'd be a lot of damage. Go. Hmm. Attack. <laughs> Attack. Go. Wait, why didn't it let me? Titanial didn't do what I thought it did. What does it do? I thought it was an Omni Negate. Uh oh. No, it, it is not, unfortunately. Since, I mean... This is gonna hurt. Oh, hello.
hoping you wouldn't do that. <laughs> hmm? I, I said I was hoping you wouldn't do that. What's aroma jar for? Just stall. Yeah. But it kind of hurt me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hey, you what? Well, still, yeah, I push it to around two, but still, like I said, it kind of hurt a little bit. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> if only your monster had zero defense. <laughs> mm. Hmm. Um, I can't believe you're freaking playing Chaos Dragon. Uh, Longfar? That'd be Longfar? I mean... You think I have hand traps? Hmm? I think I have hand trapped right now. Uh, let me see here. What should we go to? Hmm. I think I'm going to go with. Rika Petal. Now I can either add a Rika from my deck or send to the graveyard. I can't special summon except for plants. During your end phase, while it's cards in the graveyard, I have no monsters. Or they're all plants. I can special summon it. Crap, I didn't want to do that one, but well. I keep clicking on the wrong one. <laughs> oh, are you trying to make them A, but you click on the other one? Yeah, it's all right, though. Tis all right, tis okay. Is there a reason you didn't attack? Yeah, it was... Wait, what? Uh, no, it was the first <laughs> turn, that's why. What? It was the first turn, that's why. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot that I went second. Yeah. My bad. <laughs> um... Suck. Ah, crap. What? <laughs> what? Yes. <sighs> Another one? Oh, come on. <laughs> Just trying to deck it right out. <laughs> Dude, what the deuce? <laughs> 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 you... Well, it was so fun the first time. Let's do it again. I think I'm going to summon you.
Let me just get me a blue eyes rose dragon. <laughs> Since it's a plant monster right now. <laughs> get it? Yeah, yeah, I get it. I think next I want to add this to my hand. Actually, no, I want to send it to graveyard. I think I know where this is going. Hmm? I said I think I know where this is going. Yep. Am I dead? <laughs> Honestly, I'm surprised I even got a win. That's probably just because you bricked. I bricked. Ta-da! Yeah, so, uh, spoiler alert. My my uh, opening wasn't very good. I got, like, a couple things that I wanted, but overall it wasn't great. If it wasn't obvious for me playing Dogmatica Chaos Mix. Well, uh, do you want a spoiler alert? Hey, sure. Okay. <laughs> Not bad. Well, if y'all did enjoy today's episode, well, first of all, Sam, do you got anything else to say? Um, stop saying Chaos Max. He's not playing it. I mean, just saying. But if y'all did enjoy today's episode, let us know down below. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you are not already subscribed. And Sam. Mm hmm. No, no, I just want to say and Sam. Uh, but peace out. Happy gaming. Sinjin. And Lewis. Out.